We're standing here in the Claw Gallery, which was built to house the collection of paintings by J.M.W. Turner, who is really one of the most important artists in Tate's collection. This is the shipwreck which Turner exhibited in 1805. It's one of his largest early pictures and it shows a dramatic scene at sea and it's of course completely imaginary. We don't know that Turner was ever caught in a shipwreck like this. He's, he's had to imagine everything but he's done so with amazing vigour and the way in which he's painted the sea with all the froth and spray and the waves circling around is really quite extraordinary. Turner was aware of an earlier tradition of marine painting, going back to 17th century artists, many of whom were Dutch, but he's completely reanimated it here and brought it to life for his own time, at the beginning of the 19th century. And the whole composition functions as a kind of vortex. Turner was very interested in these sweeping, encircling compositions throughout his life. But they also, when one looks at these pictures, have the effect of drawing the viewer in as well, so that we become almost part of the subject. This painting is called Ancient Rome, Agrippina Landing with the Ashes of Germanicus, which is perhaps rather a daunting title today, but the story of Agrippina was very well known to Turner's generation. It's a story from Roman history and it's all about the dedication of a widow, Agrippina, whose husband had died at Antioch, possibly poisoned, possibly murdered but she was absolutely devoted to him and she brought his ashes back to Italy. Not in fact to Rome, as Turner shows in the picture, but to Brindisi. And he'd been reading the wrong book, he'd been reading Roman history, which told the story slightly wrong and got the place of her arrival uh, incorrect. But that doesn't matter, he's used the picture as a chance to reconstruct the architecture of ancient Rome. Sometimes the stories that Turner's telling in his pictures are quite hard to find or to discern because the main interest for him was the background, the subject, the landscape, or in this case, the architecture. By the time Turner painted the picture, one of his main interests was light and atmosphere and the effect that sunlight, mist, uh, atmospherics had on solid form. And it's wonderful, I think, to see how this great vision of the ancient city seems to be both emerging and dissolving into mist. 